Hi, I'm Sarah Loomis and you're watching Illumination Archaeology. Today the topic is, what is archaeology? Archaeology is the study of the human past through its material remains. You'll be disappointed to learn that it doesn't usually include dinosaurs. To learn about dinosaurs, you'll want paleontology, the study of fossil plant and animal remains. However, if you'd like to learn about how archaeology relates to paleontology, I'd recommend you check out the book The First Fossil Hunters by Adrian Mayer. This book discusses how the early peoples of Europe reacted to finding fossils in their regions. In many cases, they interpreted them as the remains of monsters, like the Cyclops or the Griffin. In the United States, archaeology is generally considered a subfield of anthropology. Anthropology is the study of humanity, particularly through culture. Edward Tyler, an anthropologist, described culture as the knowledge, beliefs, art, morals, law, custom, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by a man as a member of society, way back in 1871. The definition hasn't changed very much since then. Anthropology is often taught as having four subfields. The first is biological or physical anthropology. This is the study of human biological or physical characteristics and their evolution. A biological anthropologist might study how humans in societies that valued cattle developed a tolerance for milk and dairy products. The next subfield is cultural or social anthropology. This is the study of human culture and society through first-hand observation or cross-cultural comparison. Studies in cultural anthropology are most often done through ethnography. An ethnography is a type of study in which an anthropologist lives among the people they wish to study for a long period of time, generally one to three years. While living with them, they try to see things from their point of view, as well as recording their social structure and lifestyles. The third subfield of anthropology is linguistic anthropology. Linguistic anthropology is sometimes considered to be a subcategory of cultural anthropology. It is the study of human communication and use of language. A linguistic anthropologist might study how language can be used to advance one's political position. Finally, there is archaeology, which may be considered an anthropology of the past, since it studies cultures as they occurred in the past. There are many other categories of anthropology. A subcategory of archaeology is paleoarchaeology. This is the study of ancient human populations, especially early human ancestors such as Neanderthals and Homo erectus. In other parts of the world, such as Europe, archaeology is allied with the study of history. History is the study of the past, specifically the written human past. Archaeology adds to the historical record through the study of what is not written down. Many aspects of human history can only be understood through the material remains they left behind such as the time before writing was invented. Since the invention of writing, there are still some aspects of society that do not often get written down, such as the experiences of dominated populations. Another often unwritten aspect of human society is everyday life, which is considered too ordinary to write down. Archaeologists study sites from all over the world and from the dawn of the human line of evolution. Sites are places where people have spent time and left a physical material trace. The goal of archaeology is to learn about the cultures, societies, and lifestyles of peoples of the past. Archaeologists learn about past people through the study of artifacts, features, and ecofacts at sites. Artifacts are objects that were made, used, or modified by humans, such as pottery or stone tools. Features are non-portable objects, usually structures, such as the remains of walls, houses, or fire pits. Ecofacts are the remains of past environments at archaeological sites, such as animal and plant remains. We will discuss how archaeologists use these material remains to interpret past peoples in future videos. Archaeology can also be understood as both a physical science and a social science. Science is the study of the world through observation and experiment. This is what archaeologists do, observing the material remains in their excavations and making predictions, hypotheses, about what they will find there and why. The physical sciences are those sciences concerned with the study of natural objects. These include physics, chemistry, and sometimes biology. Archaeology uses these sciences to interpret physical remains for characteristics such as the date at which they were deposited or their composition. Archaeology is also a social science. Social sciences are the scientific study of human and social relationships. These types of studies are less defined than those of the physical sciences. This is because humans are so hard to predict and irrational. But why should the average person care about archaeology? Apart from any inherent interest that the uncovering of the past and its treasures might have, archaeology provides useful knowledge. By showing us the events of the past and the diversity of human experience, archaeology can help us understand our present. 
For instance, understanding how environmental changes may have been a cause in the collapse of Maya society helps us to understand how climate change may affect our societies today. Similarly, we can use archaeology to learn about the spread of disease, the control of governments, or the development of new technologies. We can also see the many different structures that government, society, and culture has taken over time. We can see which of these structures was helpful or hurtful or had no effect on populations in different situations. An understanding of the diversity of human experience can also help us to better understand other cultures in our own world and relate to them better in politics and cultural relations. Finally, archaeology has political importance by showing how people have lived and changed in a given region. They can support the claims of governments or native peoples to certain lands or customs, but they can also support bigotry or conflict. For all these reasons, it is a good idea to be aware even of the aspects of archaeology that you do not find personally interesting. The good news is that archaeology is so diverse that most everyone can find something interesting within it. Next week I will be discussing paleoarchaeology and human evolution. Please leave any questions, comments, or ideas for future videos in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos and would like to see more.